Hi, welcome to Inside Sendshare. I'm Ian Truscott, VP of Global Marketing. In this video series, I'm going to introduce you to a number of my colleagues, our clients, our partners, so you can get a taste of who we are here at Sendshare and what we do and how we can help. Please enjoy this episode. Hi, welcome to Inside Sendshare. I'm Ian Truscott, VP Global Marketing, and today I'm joined by the boss, Dieter Reichert, correct? Perfect. Perfect. So normally at this point I say, what do you do here? But you're the CEO, you're the boss. So I thought maybe we'd start with uh, where Sendshare started, seeing as I've got this opportunity to talk to you. Sendshare started when I was 15, because wow. then I started uh, my career as a typesetter mm -hmm. and I was very disappointed uh, about the technology yeah. in these days. Yeah. I was really surprised about what computers can do. I thought they can do much more, mm -hmm. but they were pretty stupid. Yeah. And today I would say computers do what I thought they should do when I was 50. Wow. And that was about 40 years ago. <laughs> wow. So that's a little bit part of the story because yeah. I I think a lot about the future, about mm -hmm. next steps, mm -hmm. about what you can do with content, with information. Yeah. And my perspective of technology is basically that you can do everything with it. Right. Everything is information right. and with information you can do anything you like. Right. And that's a big goal. I mean, is that, is that what founded Sendshare then? You know, there are different uh, aspects in Sendshare, there are different owners. Mm -hmm. I have one aspect, I have more the visionary aspect, yeah. and, but you need people to do this. Yeah, yeah. So therefore, we, you know, we have yeah. other people, yeah. but I am more or less the driver of the visionary aspects in the company. Yeah. Yeah. And when we started this company, so this was about 15 years ago, mm -hmm. the idea was to help companies to run content. Mm -hmm. And during these days, it was Condé Nast and BMW, where right. we started with. Right. And until today, we have these two basic areas, which is media mm -hmm. on one side, mm -hmm. and on the other side, the marketing and uh, communication departments within organizations. Right, right. And I've had Dagmar on the show before. She, start, she was there at the beginning with you, around about, right? And, and she talks about starting with print and then realizing we were solving a big digital asset management problem. Is that how you recall those early days? I would say what we did from the beginning was taking care on complexity. Yeah. Because it was not only print, it was always information used for different things. Yeah, yeah. Of course, during these days, print was still very strong. Yeah. But uh, more or less from the beginning, uh, websites were in place and yeah. content was needed for websites. This is where we started. Right. And in our philosophy, even during these days, it was clear you need information separated from the output format yeah. and you should be able to use it for whatever you like. Yeah. Yeah. And in 10 years, content will be flowing through your body. Absolutely. Yeah. So the yeah. limitation of bodies yeah. will be not there anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So it goes from print yeah. to websites to screens, 3D animations, <laughs> yeah, yeah. virtual reality, and the next step will be in your body. Wow, so from the start, we, we were separating content from presentation, which is a classic content management you know, thing to do. So yes. we've always been like that. And, but in the future, we're gonna be plugging ourselves into Sendshare? Uh, more or less, not we. Uh, mm -hmm. I think uh, the consumers will yeah. plug into the retailers. Yeah and the retailers will give them a discount that right. they will become emotionalized about their products. Wow. And most of the people do not believe it. Yeah. And most of the people who listen to something like this will say, I will never do this. Yeah. They will because of medical reasons. Yeah. And this might have nothing to do now with Sencha directly, but it's in the foundation, everything is connected with information. So yeah. that's the, the, the broader and long-term vision. Yeah. But I had this vision already when I was 15. Wow, well, I think that's great. That's a great introduction and it's a great vision. So thank you very much, Dieter. And thank you for joining us on Inside Sendshare.